Here's my process simulator consisting of an Arduino and uh, uh, Microsoft Excel running VBA with a simulation. So what it is is, um, is Arduino is receiving an analog input which is reflected in the input valve position. You see if I turn this up, it turns the valve up to 100% and back down. So that is controlled by turning this potentiometer. Okay, so right now it's zero. And I also have a, a, it's called the leaky tank, so I have an output valve. So you can see I can drain the, turn the drain on and the tank will start to empty. And as you can see, the level is going down. And the level is reflected in the voltage that comes out of the Arduino. So that's the level of the tank going down. You can see it's at 1.8. Um, it's a range of 0 to 5. So as it approaches 0, it's approaching 0 volts. Now it's an actual simulation such that the more water in the tank, here I'll just bump up the water, I'll pour a bucket of water in the tank. So the more water in the tank, the faster it drains. Um, so, you know, the drain rate is proportional to the volume as well as the valve position. So let me just shut the drain. Okay, so it stopped draining. So um, the whole point is that it is simulating a water column system. It receives an analog input, which is the input valve position. I'll turn that again. And you'll see if I turn that on, the water tank is filling now. And eventually the water tank will become full because that pot's cranked all the way up. So that is the control, the control parameter, the final control element. Um, and there it's going to hit the top, and it'll be at 100%. It won't overflow. You don't end up with water on the floor. Uh, you can see the voltage going up. The process variable is the level. And the process variable is almost at 5 volts. It goes up to about 4.95. It's the maximum. So there it is. If I open up the drain valve now, to 100%, the tank starts to drain. It will reach equilibrium at a certain point. Um, I'm not sure if the drain valve is able to drain faster than 100% fill rate. Fill rate. Um, I guess I could manually empty the valve. Let's do that. And we'll pull it down. Oh, it looks like, yes, it can drain faster than it can full, fill at 100%. Oh, no, there it is. It's coming up. So it will each reach equilibrium at some point. So there you go. <laughs> it all depends on the process. So it's reaching equilibrium. Looks like it's going to reach equilibrium at about 20, maybe 21%. You can see the voltage there is right now at uh, 1 volt. So it's at 20%. So, you know, 1 out of 5 is 20%. Okay. So that's a great simulation in order to allow students to hook up a PID controller and learn about tuning it. Instead of an actual process where you end up with water on the floor, um, we actually have a process simulation here. Receiving uh, an input which is the input flow rate and providing an output process variable which is the water level.